Good afternoon. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Oh, boy, this is exciting. There still will be people coming in. Everybody, please feel welcome. As you, still, as you see, we're still figuring out how this building can possibly work, and we will, with your help. But for now, allow me to welcome all of you um, to back Basis for Aktuelle Kunst here in Utrecht on the oca occasion of Propositions Number 3, Artist Commitment, which is part of uh, the exhibition by Matthijs de Bruyne, Compromiso Politico. The exhibition will open later today. Um, I think it's a remarkable, uh, remarkable show, a remarkable project, uh, featuring some of the most critical works of Matthijs de Bruyne uh, that he's been developing over the course of the last 15 years. And the works are presented alongside uh, the artworks by Jeremy Deller, Piero Ghilardi, and Mirle Laderman Ukeles. Uh, my colleague Matteo Lucchetti, uh, who curated the exhibition, will introduce the exhibition uh, closer to the uh, official opening moment at the end of this afternoon. Um, but as we will be discussing so many issues that the exhibition so brilliantly encompasses, already this afternoon. I would just encourage you, uh, if you did not manage to get a sneak preview uh, with your coffee upon entering the building, please do it in, in, the, in the breaks. Um, I just would want to remark that it's for the first time that these works are brought together for such a, a, such a comprehensive uh, overview, the works of Matthijs de Bruyne, and I'm extraordinarily excited and privileged that that's precisely the first exhibition in this new space um, uh, to which we moved um, in September last year, so just a few months uh, ago. Um, of course, this afternoon of talks and conversations is part of another yet very exciting trajectory, and that's the uh, Buck post-academic program, Buck's fellowship program that we began last year in 2017. Uh, we conduct this program um, um, in such a way that at its center, alongside the individual traje uh, research trajectories of our research fellows, at its center is a research into the conditions of the contemporary, into the conditions of contemporary world. And the question, how can we rethink, restructure, reframe, and perhaps, perhaps indeed reconstruct, if you wish, um, the conditions of the contemporary through the politicized inquiry and art making. Matthijs is one of 10 research fellows at Buck alongside other Dutch and uh, international fellow fellows, if you will. Uh, these are practitioners involved in the fields of contemporary art, theory, and activisms who gather together regularly for intensive uh, weeks. And we, um, at the last day of such an intensive, uh, intensive uh, week, uh, actually. It is a program uh, that is about developing talent, uh, developing possibilities for artists, and other thinkers and other activists in taking time uh, and engaging in depth with the issues that are of crucial relevance today. And of course, what makes Buck post-academic institution um, uh, quite unique in the context of the Netherlands is this kind of um, relation to public programming. So this exhibition is something uh, of one of the fellows, Matthijs de Bruyne, is something that we would like to develop as a practice every year um, uh, in order to, to develop a succession of uh, uh, research exhibitions, if you will, that look at the key urgencies of the contemporary. And of course, what we would like to uh, reclaim with this is the practice of learning and research as a public practice and then at the same time, reclaiming art as both um, public sphere and political space. 
And I'm very proud we're doing this today with the show of Matthijs. Now every researcher has his or her own research trajectory that regularly intersects with research trajectories of others. And Matthijs de Bruyne develops his together with Cecilia Vallejos and they pose a number of, number of questions to themselves and they will repose it today to our speakers as well. Now, th this research of Matthijs is very much about the question of commitment. Title of the exhibition one could see as a starting point, Compromiso Politico, which does not translate into political compromise as one would uh, assume easily, I could easily, but rather political obligation or political commitment. The open question is to what? What does politically engaged, politically motivated, politically driven art commit to? And um, Matthijs himself has a, has a very funny answer that which he repeats all the time and when we were uh, installing the exhibition. It has become something that we kept repeating as a sort of a mantra. It's simultaneous commitment to art and um, social movement of grassroots political organizing, if you will, which he names as one foot there and the other there. One foot in, the other there. And this idea of one foot there, the other foot there has, has been that kind of running, a running mantra all the time. And of course, he wants to look at how can you actually circumvent all the gaps, or all the traps, if you wish, that so-called engaged, politically engaged artistic practices kind of confronted, have confronted us um, thus far. So either bending to social movement and nearly withdrawing the field of art. Uh, one could think, for example, of protest art, if you wish. Protest artist who helps developing protest ephemera for a movement, if you will, or other way around, bending towards um, bending to art, if you will. This is how I always understood avant-garde practices. Um, reflecting the values of social movements, but not really participating in the day-to-day -day struggle, but rather withdrawing the representation of that struggle into canonized space of art. As I said, instead of this, Matthijs seeks ways of being committed simultaneously to both fields, a commitment otherwise, if you wish. If you find time to go to the exhibition, uh, as I hope, um, please have a look how this actually materializes in the exhibition through the artworks, and specifically a moment that for me personally uh, has been a breathtaking moment within this exhibition are the photographs of placards from manifests manifestations, demonstrations, um, uh, uh, which are installed on the windows. That's the project Schoon Genoeg, Clean Enough. Um, it is part of the exhibition, but it isn't at the same time. It's really on the membrane of the institution. It hesitates to really enter it. It keeps one foot there and the other inside. Now, besides this main question that uh, Matthijs and Cecilia have articulated, how can we think and enact an artistic practice committed to both political movement and art? There are other questions that they want to pose to the speakers today. What are the relations between the positions of artists, audience, and visual language in a political movement? Is there a common ground? How to avoid appropriation while working with or in the social movement. And is it at all possible, and this one is very important, I take it very seriously as somebody who's been so dedicated to this institution and instituting otherwise as we refer to the process um, of being with the institution. Is it possible to call an artwork within art institutions political at all when it uses a language that is illegible outside these very institutions? the question of language. But before I um, turn with these questions to our speakers today, Meraino Audenamsen, Sven Luteken, Graciela Carnevale, and the moderator of the, of the day, uh, Femke Kaulingfrex, there are a few additional brief notes that I would like to make, if you allow me so. 
Um, because if we gather together to think together, uh, to discuss together, we also gather to celebrate. Not just this exhibition, but also for us very personally important, for us as uh, Buck team, important celebration of the building that we're opening with this exhibition. Um, I mentioned that we moved here um, a couple of months back in September. We've been working here during the renovations and those of you who knew the building before the renovation or who came to propositions one or propositions number two, you probably, hopefully, will appreciate the progress within the building and you will recognize the changes within the building. Those who haven't seen that, you will, will, will probably see this as an ongoing building site. One way um, or another, um, we made a choice to repurpose this building into a platform for the contemporary, if you will, in staggered fashion, in phases. We renovate and we clean and uh, organize programs. And again, we renovate and clean and organize the program. And now we, at the near conclusion point of the second phase of the renovation, um, we're taking a little bit of a break till summer um, 2000, uh, 2018. Well, we embrace this conceptual makeshiftness, as, as, we, uh, as we called it, uh, and organize a number of exhibitions before entering the, the latest, latest uh, uh, last phase of the renovation. Now, the last, past or the last couple of months, um, weeks and days and hours have been nothing short of a thriller. Until yesterday, we did not have the staircase. We didn't know will all the glass plates arrive on time or will we have to improvise with uh, wooden panels. I have heard from people being totally desperate about the wooden panels replacing the glass ones because they did not all arrive, that we should keep the wooden panels. Um, I don't know. <laughs> One way or another, I would like to specifically mention Bart Witte, a colleague of mine who's been coordinating the, the renovation process and who amazingly, despite or maybe because of all these challenges, actually never loses his cool. Um, because, hey, there's always another solution to, to find. And um, that has been an atti attitude that, we, that has been uh, of, in, of huge importance for all of us, carrying the whole team up until this morning, or just last, whatever, a couple of minutes. Uh, when we try to do as much as possible, as well as possible, as simple as possible, and with as little as possible, um, to make this uh, place to be uh, also yours. Let me just thank next to Bart also our partners who made it possible, BPD Kultur Funds, KF Hein Funds, Stichting Elisa Matilde Funds, and SVK Nul Dertag in Utrecht, Goldsmiths Company, and City Council of Utrecht. Thanks also to Klaas van der Mole, who is the architect of this uh, repurposing, who's been extraordinarily uh, flexible and fun to uh, work with. And to be sure, again, we will pick up the renovation after a couple of exhibitions and a summer school, mid-summer, for the final phase. And we cannot wait. Now, while at it, I have a long list of people to thank. Bear with me. A remarkable community of people I feel extremely privileged to be surrounded by, of course, Matthijs, Matthijs de Bruyne and Cecilia Valeos. Curator of the exhibition, Matteo Lucchetti. Um, of course, the Union of Cleaners, FNV, Federation of the Dutch Trade Unions. Um, and the producing team led by Hide van Groningen, as well as Marike Kuyk and Irene Kalabuch-Miron. And to be sure, the entire team of Buck. And trust me, I cannot stress more that I'm speaking about the most dedicated and enjoyable to be with a bunch of people um, in the world, in Utrecht, in the world. Um, this includes, for sure, our great volunteers who are here with us today, uh, Gemma Shields, Evelyn Reinders, Katerina Papa, Ching Chung, Sophie Mulder, and uh, Sunny Lyon, and further, Sean uh, van der Steinhoven and Leftloft for their design, as well as Stranded FM. Uh, our media partner here in the city of Utrecht. Two more uh, notes. Uh, you're welcome to join us for coffee and tea, which my team uh, prepares for you. You received some 
coins for drinks afterwards for the opening. I'm told to say that. Please know that the whole event is being recorded. And feel free to explore the building. Um, I say it each time on this public occasion, you can explore anywhere except in front of the front door. With respect to the wishes of our neighbors, please do not smoke there. Smoking area is designated on the back side of the, of the building. And at last, with thanks to all the speakers who join us today, I would like to hand this floor over to Femke, and thank you all for joining us. I'm greatly looking forward to this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>